now... Now that we have the tower spun, I'm wondering if keeping it straight is actually a good idea. Yes, and I want the bookcase down so that I can travel into the other room. And here we go. still looks as closed as ever. That's closed too. Am I missing something? Because I rotated the tower. But not correctly, it seems. And I haven't seen any... as to where it would go. Okay. Well, I hate to guesstimate, but... What direction should this go in? Because what would be nice is if I could go into this other chamber and see, like, up above, whether or not it has actually rotated the proper way. Because I would rather not have to take you guys up and down an elevator. Yeah, that one always seems to be closed. And that one always seems to be closed. Now, is there a way for me to touch these little panels, like, behind the, s the ladders? Because I would think that they'd be interesting. No? No. Looks like I have to go snooping some more. The books didn't seem to have the answers, though. So I might have to go check out the electricity. while he explained about the towers. I don't recall seeing any of those diagrams in the books before. And I'm pretty sure Cirrus and Akinar are not going to see anything useful. Lie. Yep, I get it. Bring the red pages, bring the other pages. What I would like to find would be a book about the age that we're on currently. Because that's Channelwood. Stone ship. Well, this is the age-something age of mist. That's a compass. Suppose I might read this one. It has been a while since I have heard only silence and I enjoy it greatly, I think. For some reason, I do not feel altogether welcome in this new world in which I have arrived. But how would I be unwelcome in an age with no inhabitants? It is, of course, only in my head. This world is very beautiful, but I think I have yet to ever write a journal that an age I have linked to is horrid or disgusting. From the grassy hill where I am standing, I can see green fields below long with, along with a few scattered forests. A rather large lake looms from the distance, from somewhere I'm standing, yet the water's blue I can see plainly from here. The air is fresh and the sky is sparkled with white clouds. It is absolutely breathtaking, and yet, that strange feeling again. 
Perhaps it is the hot breeze that continues to blow from the north. Hotter than I would have imagined. It almost singes my skin and I feel quite uncomfortable when it comes. I will try to ignore it. Night has almost arrived and the sunset is spectacular. Oranges and reds have settled above the western horizon. Though night has come, the horizon still glows red. Long past sunset. Dark reds flow from the horizon and blend into the black sky. Again, the feeling. And I'm beginning to believe it is not all in my mind. I'm asleep now. I will need my strength to explore more tomorrow. I've had to return home due to the unpredictable nature, natural occurrence more frightening than I've ever experienced. I was awakened by terrible shaking on the ground and explosions on all sides of me. Gigantic balls of fire were falling from the sky and I immediately left in fear of my life. I must remember to bring a mist linking book with me when I return in case the one left there has been destroyed or damaged. I've returned to a different world than the one I left three months ago. It has been transformed into a barren desert land with only gigantic craters scattered across the land to provide variety. Strangely enough, the small grassy hill where I spent my first night remains exactly the way I found it. Apparently, the fallen meteors did not hit this area, leaving an oasis in the midst of this horrible desolation. The hot wind, I remember, has turned into a rather pleasant breeze, which at least one improvement. I fear it is the only improvement the magnificent lake I saw on my first visit is now completely dried up. However, another lake now exists and appears to be quite a bit larger. I assume one of its falling meteors created this lake due to its circular shape and the jutting rocks that grows out of the center of the lake. The rest of this world seems like desert, although I will verify that statement with closer inspection. Though this world has little visual excitement to offer, it offers much to the ears. Sounds constantly flow through my ears, and I have found there are a few of them, uh, where few of them originate. It seems, as Catherine says, I do find beauty in everything. Last night, I was awakened by a horrible hissing. I was sweating, and the heat was so intense that I immediately dipped my head in a nearby stream to cool it down. The hot breezes had returned, along with a low roar from the ground. I walked a short distance to observe some red flames shooting up from the earth. Suddenly, the ground began to crack, and a huge chasm opened. The chasm continued to grow until it was far too wide to cross. Then, the tumult subsided, leaving only a dull roar. I've decided, however, that I can use the chasm to my advantage. Perhaps the heat from the chasm can be harnessed. Even as the chasm is ripped into the surface of this world, it has opened up a whole new world to explore. Although uncomfortably hot, I found it possible to reach the cave of the chasm that had been created. I have now explored deep into the crust of this planet. I found a vast underground cave system that will take many years to map and explore. I also look for a safer way to reach the underground than through the chasm wall. This age seems to change on its own, so I feel I should leave again and see if things are different when I return. It is also important that I check on Cirrus and Akinar and make sure everything is going along well. When I return, I also hope to bring back some tools I will need for my plans to explore the underground. The abundance of raw materials here is beginning to amaze me. I have returned with some complex tools I knew be, I would be needing. I assumed it would have, I would have to return for more basic materials. However, it seems as though I will be able to find everything I need here. Of course, iron is abundant, but I've also found titanium occurring naturally. I'm all the more excited to begin work. Everything is set, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. My raw materials are all here. I think I will have the most of my additions to this age completed within one year. I so love working with my hands, whether writing or building. I began today on the bridge, and although... and it's gone. The magnetic... something will work well, and I've decided to... Three meters is not enough to support for the beams, although amazingly strong. Has to be one of my most prized inventions. I'm extremely... would never have imagined it to come together quite as... I doubt I could possibly work with 14 instead of 8 completely fatigued. I am so happy to have completed tomorrow. I am leaving today in order to bring back Cirrus and Akinar. I have left them alone in Channelwood. I believe they will enjoy all there is to see here. The age seems to have stabilized. 
I believe the meteor set off a period of volcanic activity by piercing into the shallow crust, but the tremors had become few. I've just noticed that a large amount of this journal has, has curiously vanished from the pages on which I wrote over the last 18 months. Fortunately, I've copied many of my construction notes on another journal. Ah, uh, okay. I do not understand many mysteries of this world, but I trust that I will discover logical answers to my questions. I have a feeling that many of my questions can be answered in another age, to which I hope to travel too soon. But for now, I must simply accept this world's mysteries and take pride in my accomplishments. Huh. Well, it didn't have anything to help us in this age, but it's interesting. Okay. Now, I wonder if I put in those constellations in the order that they were written in that book, if that would help. But the problem is, I almost feel like I would have to have the dates for those constellations. And then through that, figure out the time at which they were supposed to emerge. But I suppose it doesn't hurt to start with that. Just to see. Okay, so that is the anchor. And I believe the next one is the eye. And then we have the snake, which is right next door. The bug. Okay, the cross. The arrow, which is over here. The bird. And the leaf. You see, it almost makes sense that I need to flip the switch with them activated in that manner in order to get this working. Well, time to go back to this. I don't believe I found any more clues, like on the walls, to figure out precisely what numbers I need to use. I mean. Can I close the door? No, nope, not while I'm in here. And the pressure gauge hasn't seemed to change because maybe I'm lacking wood? And it will probably only unlock when I have the proper combination. Oh, butterflies. That's fun. Maybe the point and click is a tad annoying. Is there anything on the beach? Nope. Definitely need to get the electricity going. And this seems to be the only thing that's feasible. There seems to be no other buttons. I mean, taking it to max. I think I had this right before because both of them went to 88. So let's see. I'll get them back to the correct positions. Yeah, because that makes it 88. And then it went back to zero. Huh.
Because the second one had blown out. And then it looked like it was working again. But now it isn't. I would almost expect there to be some kind of activation. And my question with this one is, did I click them in the right order? Or am I only supposed to have a number of them up and established? Oh, wait, 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 what was that? No, just a light. That's odd. Now it's back to zero. Well, that's the generation ships. Power to ship. Power. I mean, it does look like it's 88, though the center markers seem to be pointing up straight. Yeah, I'm confused too, guys. I mean, I would think that over here that this should be running. I mean, that's the PSI. The wood. But it's just not running. And I haven't found any notes regarding that. I mean, if that was supposed to be the channel wood age, I wonder if there was supposed to be a time associated with it. Really, I'm supposed to get to the keys. I know it. I also wish it wasn't night. In the original game, it was always daytime. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, maybe I can try some of these without one another. Will it change the pool? Maybe I have to activate the switch after every single one? Okay, let's see what happens with the anchor. Nothing. I did click them all in the order, but I assume I have to find a list of dates. Really, I need to find the keys. Unfortunately, I don't... Huh. That's weird. The line turned red when associated with that? Is it providing power to that? Maybe I should turn all the switches up. Maybe that's how it directs its power. Okay, so I'll, I'll just turn all the switches up and see what happens. Because it looks like that tower aligns with things and then turns red. And I'll see if that adds everything to the diagram. Because then we might get somewhere. Because, yeah, I, I had this up before and it had that highlighted. Now, I can't reach that, though. It's on the other side of that. All right. Um, hmm. Oh, so I wonder if putting that up was what made this turn on. Doesn't seem to. 
I did get it to 88 though, so I'll leave that there for now. And maybe if I put the tower on this, then it will change. Okay. Now, I think I put the power onto the chamber. So, let's see where I can put it now. Because it talks about keys. So that's the dock. Huh, interesting. Okay, so it's able to turn away. Now it's turning red there. Hmm. Okay. Time to see what happens. changed. That's good. Let's see what's on the other side. Aha! There we go. So this is supposed to show you keys to stuff. So we have 240. 2, 2, 1. 2, when the tower was aligned with the gears. Okay. Well. Let's try this for all of them. Close this first. Okay, there we go. Back to this. There we go. Not able to move it. Now, this should be aligned with the marker from the astro astronomy lab. Okay, and I'll need to switch it so that I can access the door. So it looks like uh, I can't click the device. I actually have to hold the button. So I'm sorry for the confusion. I probably did not need to open up that door. Back inside. So this will be for the astronomy lab. I'll have to see what date, what time, what it will want me to look at. see some sunlight there, but we're not interested in that. We're interested in the key. Let's get up. Seven, two, four. So the astro is seven, two, four. Now these numbers could be one of many things. Maybe that safe directs the power. What's opened? I don't think these have to deal with dates. Maybe it, maybe it has to do with the viewer. Yeah, the the water viewer. Because those always had three numbers. Okay, so we're back here. Oh, 
miss that. Let's go back around. Oh, it moves too quickly. Sorry for the sound, guys. I just want to make sure I'm getting every single one of these. I've already done that one. I think it's stuck there. I don't like that. I wonder if this is a glitch in the game. Because it doesn't it didn't like it when I tried moving past that point. There we go. Now this is the point where it gets stuck again, and I'm afraid that it will go past this structure if I try moving it again. There it goes. That's weird. It didn't light up. Well... I'll try lining it with the buildings, and if it doesn't lead to anything, it means that there isn't a puzzle piece associated with it. Okay, here we are. Yeah, I found it really weird that it got stuck on those. way up. Seven. Is that the 724 again? Weird. Because the tower is completely shifted at this point. Well, I think I'll try the two numbers that I have been able to find. It only seems to stop on two. Yeah, I wonder if I should, if this is a means of getting power. I mean, it's already aligned with that. So I think I'll try this. Let's get back outside and see what's happened. Ah, yes, it's daytime. I won't be working in the darkness anymore. Yeah, so I couldn't see... I couldn't see what was up with that... That one right there. Doesn't seem to be starting anything. Now, I wonder if any of those numbers actually go with this. I mean, it would be interesting if they did. I'm just gonna try them out. Nope, not that one. The next one was seven, two, four. Aha! So, that's odd. The one that's sort of aligned with it, but I thought I was aiming at the Astrolab, actually was what worked for the boiler room. Okay. And there's matches. Whoa! Okay, let's get this going. Nice, but it looks a little bit too hot. Can I get to stabilize? Please? I need it to go in the middle. <laughs> okay, let's see what it's like on full blast. So that just goes by. 
that's a little bit slower. I preferably want to find, I mean, that stays. It doesn't, it doesn't keep going. But I wonder if that's too much. Let's see what happens when I turn to the left a little bit more. Okay, that's when it starts to dip and it keeps dipping. Let me see what happens all the way down. Yeah, I think I just have to find the happy median. So it's slower there. S still keeps going, but at a much slower rate. And it's very slow. But that's going the opposite way. to get it to stop where it was again. Because that's just making it go faster. It's staying. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that and hopefully hopefully that works. Doesn't seem to be doing much there. Now, I am gonna try the time, 2.40, and we'll see what happens here. Two, 30, 35, 40. Well, there goes the gears. And it looks like we have a way across. That activates it. And there was a number associated with this, which was 221. Two, two. Oh, it's one of these. I see. So I'm going to have to make the one dissimilar from the other. Okay, so if that moves over one and then the other, and that moves over one and then the other, hooey, let this, me figure this out. I can hold them down. Whoa, well, that's different. So it switches one, two, and then one in the middle. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. I thought I actually had to... Well, that will make things easier. Okay. So... That means I'll do it like this. Um, to get the top to be two, I'll just rotate that this way and then one, and then let the second one keep spinning until it's at two. I feel so stupid. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to rotate each and every single one to get it right, but holding it down actually changed the center? Wow. Okay. Well, we got that. Is there an age? Is there a book in here? Or did it just activate it? Do 
doesn't seem to do anything. Like, I thought it would open up the panel. I'm not resetting it. Oh! Does that mimic the gear on the opposite side of the island? All right. So there was that gear on the opposite side of the island. And it's open. Which means that we will be able to go to another age. Feels so silly about that one. I was trying to formulate a way to <laughs> get it open. All right. This is our first age that we found. 